It's finally here! You're welcome. Right here, guys, new electric air compressor from Air Venturi that goes up to 4,500 PSI and is, ready for this? Ready for this? Under $1,300. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. We saw it at SHOT Show. They just released it. It's exciting because, as we know, you can't use a regular air compressor because we can't get enough air. You, the, the, you get in a shoebox is, is difficult and it doesn't always get you up to 4,500 PSI and, and blah, 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 blah. Now we've got one electric air compressor that does it all from filling up guns to little tanks to medium tanks all the way to big tanks in actually a reasonable amount of time. So no longer do you have to rely on someone else to bring you air because you can fill up everything and off you go, which is what I'm about to do. So you've actually caught us on a weekend of shooting here for American Air Gunner, and we've got a lot of shooting to do. So we're gonna fill up all the tanks we need, and then we're gonna go shoot for the next two days, and we don't have to call anybody, no fire departments, none of that. We don't have to deal with any of that. We just get to do it ourselves and make things happen. So, basically, it's got a cooling system, it's got a pressure gauge where you can actually set what, so like this is only 3,000 PSI, so I can set it to 3,000 PSI, and when the compressor gets to that amount of air, it shuts down so it doesn't overfill into my bottles. Um, it takes about, it's pretty simple, for a 90 cubic inch, which is this little guy right here, it, this takes about 10 minutes to fill from zero to 4,500 PSI. 10 minutes, that's awesome. And then you throw this in your bag and this will fill your gun as many times as you need. I know with some of these guns we have that take 4,500 PSI, you're not gonna get as many, but for the average gun that goes about 3,000 PSI, you are good to go. This tank, on the other hand, this is an 88 cubic feet. There's also a 74 cubic foot version of this. That's gonna take, 74 cubic is gonna take about an hour to go from zero to 3,000 PSI, um, and a little bit longer from this one. But for most of us who shoot our guns, we, once we get down to 3,000 PSI, we just wanna refill up to 4,500. Well, that takes about, for this size, it takes about 20 minutes. For the 74 cubic foot, it takes about 15 minutes. So we're gonna test all this. Basically, what we're gonna start with, we're gonna turn our compressor on, cooling system on. It's cooling, you can hear it. Right here, I got my old, uh, oh, Sam Yang Sumatra. So it comes with the with the the hose here, and it comes standard with a female uh, quick disconnect here. So any of your guns that have fittings or already existing male disconnects, like so, you just clip it right on, and you're good to go. So right now we've got a gun. It's at a thousand psi. So here we go. So the Sumatra actually. This is 200 bar, so it's gonna go to 200 bar, which is about, that's right, it's, it's, it's right around 3,000 PSI. It's a little, little short of that. So as you can see, it's moving. We're almost there, and then when this gets there, it should shut off. We're gonna see if it does. We got a thermometer here telling us 58 degrees, 60 degrees, so you, just let, you know if you need to let it cool or not. Um, but right now it's moving, it's almost there. We're getting close to our perfect fill right here. And let's see what happens. We're up to 60 degrees. That was easy. That was so easy. I'm gonna set that here, because I've got other stuff to fill. Here we go, this is 13 cubic inches. So we just, again, we take our hose, fire it up, connects right there. We look and says, it says 3,000 PSI. Is that this guy here? We're going to move this, set our valve here to 3,000 PSI. So it's about that loud. They say it's 90 decibels. Uh, it's about as, they say a lot as loud as a blender. Um, this is not as loud as my blender. My wife turns that on and it scares me to death. I don't know about you guys, so this isn't that loud. I'm having a normal conversation. I'm not yelling and screaming like I normally do, yet. Uh, and I can still talk and this is still um, functioning, but we've got some time. It's gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna juggle. Oranges! All right. Let me know when it's done. Oh, it'll shut off. That's right. And it's done. Let's see, 3,000 PSI, 3,000 PSI. Now, these are the kind of bottles that you're used to. You typically have two types of, well, there's three these days because there's a, a bigger version, kind of a 
medium version, but if you saw these, you wouldn't know the difference. Uh, and then this, this is kind of that portable tank. Now, this you can actually fill up from this, okay, but you don't need to anymore because you have a very affordable electric air compressor right here uh, that works like a charm as we're seeing. So we're gonna pump this thing up. Now this thing is on, uh, it's got about 2,500 PSI. We wanna get to 4,500 because we know this is a 4,500 PSI tank. So we change our setting just like so. We close our release valve and there you go. We fire the sucker up. So to go from 3,000 to 4,500 shouldn't take long. Well, it does that, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? I mean, while you're filling up air tanks, why not dance? And there you go. I mean, you can do whatever you want while it's all filling up, but I chose to dance. So, there you go. 4,500, take a look at our 90 cubic inch. It's warm at best, not hot at all. There it is, 4,500. Fill up a gun, fill up a 13 cubic inch, a 90 cubic inch, and it's been like 15 minutes. All we got now is this big puppy right here. This sucker is at right around 3,000 to fill back up to 4,500 about 15 minutes. Now, here's the cool thing. If you've got a hose like this and you don't have where this is made, where it disconnects like that, so you can just attach right there. But a lot of them, the hose is actually screwed in. If that's the case, you take your hose like so. You take the male male, put that in there, and then you can fill your tank just like that. Easy, simple, may take a little bit more time as opposed to just going through one hose, especially if it's a slow fill but that's it and then you can fill that up it takes about an hour guys that's it this is i mean this is the most entertaining version of showing an air compressor filling up other tanks with air that we could possibly do right here on american air gunner i'm rossi morielli i'm tired but you know what i got i'm full air i'm gonna go shoot see you later what I think,